What is up guys, Robsicle here, and today we're doing another unboxing of one of the Razer products, the 2014 Death Adder Chroma. So this is the mouse version of their RGB set. So it says ergonomic shape, ultra accurate optical sensor, and chroma customizable lighting. And on the back, it says... 7 foot lightweight braided fiber cable, which is awesome, 5 programmable hyper response keys, 3 razor synapse enabled, 4 ergonomic shape, as you can see there's a curve, which I'll show in a bit, and chroma customizable lighting, so customizable lighting here and customizable lighting here. And let's get this box started. So first off, slide it out. Here is the Razer Death Adder Chroma. Lift it up. Stunning, extremely stunning. And we'll take put that aside and we'll start with the documentation. First of all, we got our RGB crystallized stickers instead of the green ones, since it's the RGB version. We have our Razer Zone documentation, which is the same for all products. Razorzone.com. Death Adder Chroma important product. It's manual whatsoever. Exclusive rewards for the Razor Faithful. And we have a picture of the Death Adder. Congratulations, there is no turning back. Alright, people, so this is the Razor Death Adder Chroma straight out of the box with that matte black finish. Looks super awesome. First things first, as you can see, that the scroll wheel has a grip on it for easier and more controlled scrolling. We've got the matte black logo. We've got some rubberized feet for your finger traction to keep your hand on the mouse. Same with the left side. And you have two programmable keys to do whatever you need to do. As well, there's a braided cord, which is awesome, as it's more structured and stronger. And as I said before, there was a kind of curve on the mouse because it's a right-handed mouse. And it's palmed, and buttons are very nice. Hyper response keys, very clicky, very fast. Same with the scroll wheel, it's also a button. As we look on the bottom of the mouse, we can see that there are three parts of the mouse, which are the mouse feet, which help with traction to stay on the mouse pad, and which are very good. I don't know if you guys can see in the circle of the ring where the sensor is, it says 4G optical sensor 10,000 DPI, which is freaking crazy. Alright, as you can see, once it starts up onto the computer, it starts going by the spectrum cycling. Let's turn off the lights, as you can see. As you can see, it's going through the spectrum. As you can see, the scroll wheel is illuminated, so is the logo, which is pretty nice. And now we're going to go to the Synapse 2.0 and see the configuration. Alright people, so I am on the Razer Synapse 2.0 system, and right now it's on Spectrum Cycling, so we can go to Lighting, and for the scroll wheel we can also we can do Static or Spectrum Cycling or Off. So if we click off, it'll turn off, as you can see, off. Same with the logo, turn off, turns off. You can do breathing as well. Should start, yep, it's breathing green. And it'll fade back. Do that with all the other colors. And scroll wheel, you can only do static and spectrum cycling. So static right now is on green. Change it to your preferred one, you know, red if you'd like. And on the logo, you can make it pink, maybe, whatever you like, on static. Just like that. For now, we're just going to stick it to green. Like that. As well as on here, there's calibration, performance, and customize. Let's go to calibration. So, surface calibration, let's turn it to on, razor mats. Select a mat, you can say the Razor Vespula on speed and save, and it will be calibrated to the surface. For performance, 
you can do selective profiles to change whatever kind of game you're playing, DPS, League of Legends, Dota, MOBAs, whatsoever. So you can enable your X and Y sensitivity and the acceleration. So if we were to increase our X and Y sensitivity, we can separately change it. So if you want to go left and right or up and down one way faster and one way slower, then you can do that. So right now you can see that it's increased immensely and your max is at 10,000 DPI, which is absolutely amazing. So right now you can tell that my mouse is crazy even with the slightest movements. And we also have our polling rate, which is the rate of increase in speed when the cursor is respect to mouse movements. So if we increase, put it to 4, it's absolutely crazy and fast. So usually you only need acceleration for and sensitivity for high DPS games like CSGO or Black Ops or what, so what kind of games that are coming up. And customize is pretty self-explanatory. You can basically change what the clicks do. So one is left click. It's going to stay as left click. Number two, it's going to be right click. Three is scroll wheel. Four button mouse four, five button mouse five, scroll up and scroll down. So that is basically it for the Razer Death Adder Chroma. Nothing very different compared to the 2013 Death Adder Chroma, but this mouse has increased immensely in DPI. I think from about 6,400 all the way to 10,000 now. And you have your multi colored full spectrum gaming LEDs. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, favor and subscribe to this channel. It really helps me out a lot and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.